but um, Florida is a really good defensive team, and they play really hard. And they've, uh, they've, I think they've come a long way from from last year. Um, so they, I think they match up well, especially with Florida playing here. Uh, it's a, I mean, I don't know if you saw the game on uh, Tuesday night, but if uh, if De'Aaron Fox is not 100, uh, percent it makes Kentucky a little more vulnerable. He's the he's the speed of their team, and not having him available, uh, or at least 100, percent changes a lot of roles. You know, so all of a sudden Isaiah Briscoe's got to play the point, and uh, Dominic Hawk has got to play the point at times, and that takes them out of their normal roles, and so somebody else has to step into those roles and just makes it different. They're a bigger team. They have to play more size, and uh, it affects their ability to get up and down the floor as fast as they normally do. Malik Monk is obviously a guy that's been scoring a lot. You know, leads the SEC in scoring. You've seen him a number of times. Um, I mean, is there any way to slow him down, and if there is, what, what is the best way to do it? just can't leave him. I mean, he's got. He's one of those guys that you should never have a closeout to him because you're on him all the time. He's he's that that talented. He can make challenge shots, so you just have to you have to play him tough and not foul him and keep, make it difficult for him to get the ball. Uh, but if you can take if you can take away his transition opportunities uh, and make Kentucky play five on five for the majority of the game, that's the that's the chance you have to win. If they're getting you know, getting up and down the floor, usually teams run effectively because of offensive mistakes that their opponents make, quick shots, bad shots, uh, turnovers, uh, things like that. And Florida's done a pretty good job taking care of the ball all year long. They're, uh, they're a relatively low turnover team. Are you surprised at all what Florida's done this year, especially of late? No. Um, Mike White's a great coach, and uh, so he's had some time to kind of put his imprint on the program. I think he's done that. And uh, they're very, uh, very good and very connected and, uh, and uh, very stingy defensively. You know, their offense, uh, they've, they've had some good nights offensively, but they're not as consistent on offense. Uh, the one area where they're incredibly consistent is their, their defensive play, and that's, that's been there just about every night. Um, they've had some lapses there too, but everybody does. But uh, you know, they're a legit top 20 team, no question. What do you see as their potential in March? Like everybody else, you know, they, you gotta get a good draw. Um, I wouldn't put them as a favorite, uh, but they're, they're capable of beating almost anybody. And, uh, and that's what the tournament is. You know, it's, the tournament's just 68 teams having different paths. You know, they, they're not, it's not like golf where everybody has to play the same course. You know, you have a different path. So a lot is determined, you know, a lot of your success in the tournament is de determined by what your, what the, your opponents in your path do. Uh, because not everybody's uh, route to the Final Four is the same.